After a beautiful, beautiful weekend, of course, we had to have some rain. That's what we get for taking a day off. <laughs> <laughs> well, y'all, welcome back to Cajun Country Living. This week, we're going to attempt to put in some soffit, build bird boxes on these eaves, and that should be interesting because I think you kind of have to be a carpenter to do that, and I'm just not seeing it, but we're going to give it a try anyway. So we're going to unload all this soffit that we went ahead and purchased. Originally we were going to use the extra concrete fiber siding that we had, but we didn't have enough. Yeah. And that was hard enough to get our hands on like it was. <laughs> Most let's try to get enough to finish this and make it match. So we just decided to go with the regular ordinary route and do some vinyl soffit. So we're going to get this unloaded, hopefully. This little bit of sprinkle stays on like this and doesn't get any heavier, but. I bet they're gonna enjoy this because I, I, I have never even seen this done. It looks fairly simple, but a lot of things that's looked fairly simple to us not worked out that way. Wait, We've, unloading that out of the truck? No, <laughs> actually putting it in. Hmm. <laughs> Now who doesn't love sopping wet cardboard? It's a personal favorite of mine, I can, I can say. You got it to fit though, huh? Yeah, we kind of flopped the whole way home, but we can <laughs> get out of here. That was the most Perfect. graceful thing that I've seen all day. Hey, wasn't that nice? <laughs> so whenever we go to stack this, do you want to take it out of the cardboard or do you want to leave it? I would really like to take it out of there, but this weather, I'm afraid a wind will come up and our neighbors will have a truckload of soffit. Our neighbors as in the chickens? Yeah, they're funny about their build material. <laughs> I kind of wigged out a little bit at first because when I seen these back here after the guys loaded it, I thought they gave me two different colors. The inside's off white, the outside's real white. So I'm so proud that you can see that now. Okay, but before you before you got your eyes done, yeah. you would not have been able to tell. Oh, there's no way. Absolutely not. We would have put something green up there and I would have thought it was white. How are your eyes? Give them an update. They're good. I can see. That's all that matters. The uh, star bursts around the headlights and stuff I drive at night, still kind of bad, but other than that, that's all I got going on. Everything else is good. So it's like what? Go hugging a duck. That's like hugging a duck? Hugging a duck. I really don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> Long story short, it's hard to carry is what he's trying to say. <laughs> he said this was F-channel, okay? And I got J-channel. I don't know where in the alphabet you need to stop buying this stuff, but I bought every letter that they had, so <laughs> <laughs> hopefully something works out. Is that heavy? No. It's early on in the alphabet, so it's not so heavy. <laughs> Lydia had some issues. She was hanging up sometimes, and she started out with her A's and her E's and her I's and her O's and her U's, and I just couldn't figure out what was going on. It was just non-stop. Then I realized that she was hooked on phonics. <laughs> it's a good thing you wore your waterproof shoes today. Okay, so this is the first step in our bird nest <laughs> <laughs> process. Bird nest. Okay, so this is the only way that I know to figure it out. So I just put a square on the side of the house, slid it up till it hit the subfascia, put a mark. I'm gonna go down to the other end and put a mark in the same spot 
and then pull a string line. And that way we know where to screw our channel into the side of the house. Hmm. That sounds legit. Sounds just like we're building the birdhouse. <laughs> we're not to the birdhouse yet. <laughs> Bird box. So this corner right here goes up at an angle. What we need it to do is to come out square right here and then go straight up. Okay. That way we can put these in, these soffit pieces in all the way flush to the outside eave of the house. And then it's gonna change direction on the other side of the bird box, who's gonna go up the peak. Bird nest. Bird nest, that's right. <laughs> oh, whatever you want. I'm sure we're gonna call it a lot more names than a bird box before it's over with. <laughs> so essentially you're gonna make like a right triangle with it? That's right. Okay. Why isn't it called a right triangle? Okay, Corner that's piece. what we're gonna call it. A right, no, no, right no. Right triangle box. Right triangle bird nest box. Okay. I don't know if we should build that out of two by fours, two by sixes, two by tens, two by twelves. I'm not real sure, so we're just gonna have to trial and error that thing. All right. Know that y'all see the elephant in the room here. This gap on the corner. <laughs> that is by design. If you'll see, if you'll look, see all that paper that's sticking on these nails? All that has to come off. And over every corner, there's gonna be a trim piece that goes over these corners that's caulked in every joint. But before we can do that, we have to put this soffit rail up here to know where the batten strip is gonna stop. So if this area right here is where the channel is gonna be that trims out the house, when we cut the batten boards, it needs to stop up against that. Okay, well, a little bit of rain don't scare us, but that Ooh. lightning did. <laughs> My goodness. So, I think we're going to call it a day and <laughs> that try <would've>, again. <laughs> that would have baked your tater right there. <laughs> oh my God. Made the hair stand up on the back of my neck. <laughs> yeah, I think we're going to call it this one. And just like that, we are back to a beautiful, sunshiny day. I am so excited to get out here and start the process that is probably going to take me a few days of caulking up all these seams. And I got a caulk around the windows and the doors. So this is probably going to take a little while. So I'm just excited that it is a sunny day outside and I am so ready to get started. I'm honestly not sure if I'm going to need paper towel or water, but I went ahead and prepared it so I don't have to go find it after I start this. Here we go. Okay, so we are halfway there. I have gone through two tubes of caulk and that is without doing the windows. The windows are a lot of thick seams. So I'm just gonna wait and get um, a different type of silicone caulk or just maybe something else to fill in that gap first. So I'm gonna get going on the other half and keep on trucking along. That's my big help for the day. So Lydia's going down through here and marking where we had the string stretched because that's where the F channel is going to be mounted to the house. I thought it was a J channel. Uh, <laughs> maybe it's a Y channel. Why are we doing it? Yeah, really. <laughs> 
So anyway, this probably ain't the way to do it, but that's the way we're doing it. And I know everybody's going to be like, hey, why didn't you just leave the string up there? Well, I'm really not sure, but I just feel like it's going to get in our way. <laughs> what do you think? Do you think it's going to get in our way? Uh, yeah, probably. You know, there's people that do this for a living. Put up soft. Hey, I, guess what? I sure ain't one. <laughs> And what do you think you're doing? Perfect. <laughs> I would go that far. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Hey there, bud. <laughs> Promise you don't want to make a home right here. Okay. Ready? Can you want me? Oh, we get to keep the knot. Perfect. Just what we wanted. For the record, that's store bought. Look, number one, look at that junk. That is terrible. I hate buying store bought lumber. <laughs> that is trash. So, that is what you call a bird nest. <laughs> I think a bird nest is something you get in an open face reel whenever you're bass fishing and you accidentally hang a limb or something with your bait and you didn't realize it. Your only, spool of string turns into a big bird nest. Only the real fishers would know. <laughs> I can't take you serious with your glasses like that. <laughs> that is some great A craftsmanship right there. Again, I would go that far. <laughs> so you know how we talked about how we thought the string would be in the way, so we took it down? Well, it turns <laughs> out that was a bad idea because we stretched the string out, Lydia marked it on the siding, but when we put the strips up there, guess what we covered up? The line. The line. So, so. we couldn't see it. It's so, pointless. Right. So we are going to go ahead and put it back up there and use it as a guide. These bugs are no joke today. That's crazy. <laughs> I don't know what's up with them. But So what we did with the string line is, is after we put our bird boxes in, we measured the distance that the F channel is going to have to be below that. Then we set, we are setting the string line at that size, at that height. That way we can just lower the uh, F-channel down to where it touches the string, screw it in. Sounds legit. And I'll show you all real quick what we got done on the other end. We were super anxious to get this first section up there because we really, really wanted to see what it was going to look like. So here's how it ended up turning out. Here is the bird box. Did you hear that? I said bird box. Not bird nest. Not bird nest, bird box. So this is what the bird box ended up turning out looking like and this is going to be the first section of the soffit. So the section is about 12 foot? Yes, yeah, 12 foot long. A piece. And our house is 70 feet long so we have about five more sections to put up. And this stuff is really not bad to work with. 
I mean, as far as like being easy to cut, yeah, everything is super light. The only problems that I have is it is so flexible. <laughs> I mean, God, it's like you grab a hold of it and start moving it. And, I mean, it's gonna go, it might bend, but yes, that's a little bit of a learning curve, but we're gonna get there. <laughs> So we got the J channel in on the house. So we're gonna put it on the fascia board now. And then I think that that's gonna be the end of our two foot timers nap. So if we can get that done, at least we're getting something done today. So this morning I went ahead and started putting up all the small pieces of the actual soffit that go up. These pieces are like only 12 inches long so we have about 70 to put in. That's why we went ahead and did this F channel and J channel or whatever channel it is. <laughs> That's why we went ahead and put it up last night. That way I could do this during the day and we would be able to knock some stuff out quicker. All the stuff at Big Sheets are in. Now whenever Jim gets home, we're gonna have to go back and put a piece of that F channel on the end and put a tiny little piece of soffit to finish that side off and it will be done. Look who finally made it in. It looks so good. You like it? I can't believe you got all this in today. It looks really good. So now all we got to do is finish this little Eve. Looks even better that I didn't have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd say I did a pretty good job. I ain't mad about it, I'll tell you that. Yeah, it looks really good. I can't wait till we get these uh, fascia boards on, that fiber cement, see what that looks like. It's going to look so good. Mm-hmm. But first, yeah, we, one thing at a time. We have got to finish this little corner. Gus is going to babysit for us while we're finishing this corner up. Huh, Gus? Got one little piece of track left to put in. We come up just a little short. We're two and a half inches. I hate to put that little piece in there, but it'll be alright. Alrighty. Two and a half inch piece. Should fit right in there. I mean, look at that. Like socks on a rooster.
Let me hold that for you. I use my tape measure all day. <laughs> I can tell this one don't have any bullet holes in it. Oh, I said I use mine all day. I know. That's what oh. I said. This has got no holes in it. It's not chopped off. Hey, there is a little scratch right there. Did you do that? Absolutely not. <laughs> what? Well, how are we looking? I think it looks pretty good. All right, y'all, we're gonna take the evening to admire our beautiful work that we have done. <laughs> this week's shout out goes to Double M Farm Homestead. Week after week, good positive comments really helps put a pep in our step. So thank you for that. All right, y'all, like and subscribe and we will see y'all next week.